A blue beauty cake. That's what we're making today. Yeah, I'm very impressed with how this cake came out. I love the hairstyle. I think it looks gorgeous. Hi everyone, my name is Reba McIntyre. Let's get started. So this is my next step into the world of beauty. Blue hair with some sprinkles, with a little bit of red sprinkles, a little bit of blue and white. I think they're snowflakes maybe? I don't know, they were in my sprinkle drawer. I thought they looked cool, so that's why I added them. I love the way I created this cake, so let's get to it. To create the hair of this beauty cake, I used my adjustable cake pan, the silicone one. So I wanted the hair to be like folded on over to one side, you know? Super dramatic, and so I created this shape. It looks like the end of a golf club, or also Goofy's left footprint. So I cut my cake in half. I added the skull cake that I created, which I used to create all of my beauty cakes, to one side. But I need to cut out the cake underneath it. So I've got my golf club shaped cake, and I'm gonna add some buttercream into the middle. I just cut in half to make it easier to like place on top. And we got my skull cake in the middle and I started to shape the hair. I was inspired by a lot of like hair flipping. <laughs> I don't know, I was watching Jennifer Lopez's performance and she does this really nice hair flip and I was like, ooh, that needs to be on a cake. So that's why we're creating it for this cake. I carved down just a little bit. I wanted to add some texture because I wanted so that the hair was kind of curled onto one side. Um, and I wanted to make sure I counted for the way that the curls like sort of move towards the back of the head. So there are a lot of things that are consistent when I create beauty cakes. I don't like the bridge of the nose on the skull, so I'm gonna cut that out with a paring knife. I'm also going to make sure that the chin is a little bit smaller, otherwise it's gonna be like too big. I didn't want a big chin, so I carved that away as well. Then I started to fill all of the skull crevices with some cake ball dough. You have to add a lot of cake ball dough to create the face, but I think it's so much easier than taking like a regular oval shaped cake and having to carve all of the features of the face. Is it symmetrical? Is, is there enough dimension in what you're creating? That is so hard. But adding cake ball dough to fill in the gaps, that's super easy. So I've got a crumb coat going on to my entire cake. And then I'm gonna place it in the fridge for a little bit before I start to add all of my fondant features. Now the first thing I'm going to add is a little ball of fondant to create her nose and some skin tone color fondant to create her neck. I did it separately. I thought it'd be too hard to create her neck and her face since the neck is a lot lower than the rest of her face. So we get that going on top. Now I'm gonna cut away some of the excess fondant on the side and start to really shape her nose. I think when I created the first two like beauty kicks, the nose was too big for my liking. And I don't really know how to create specific shapes just yet, but I know what I want the nose to kind of look like and I wanted it to be a little bit smaller, so I kept that in mind. I also wanted to make sure that this cake was kind of smiling. The first two beauty cakes I created, there's like no expression at all. I didn't want that for this. I wanted this to look like she knew she was beautiful and she was smiling, you know? She knew that she just got this bomb do all over her face and she was happy about it. Once I was happy with that, I started to panel blue fondant onto the sides of my cake. I don't want to add too many layers of fondant, so I'm going to score my bottom piece of fondant with some fondant tools so that the shape of my hair starts to take form. It looks really nice, but it kind of doesn't look too realistic yet. It will start to look more realistic when I start to add different strands. I'm really liking the hair flip that's going on at the top. I wasn't sure it was going to work, but yo, I'm feeling it. It's looking good. 
Now I'm layering strands of blue fondant on top of the main piece so that it looks like actual hair. It's just layered. Started with the bottom and I just, I just started to work my way to the top and curling it so that it matched the idea that I had in my head. I was so scared that this was just gonna look flat. So I tried to add as many dimensions with the pieces of fun that I was adding on top. So it actually looked like hair on a person. Then I added one ear, cause the other ear is covered with hair. Once I was happy with the way that my fondant looked, I started to paint. So I started with the hair and I decided that I wanted like the bottom of her hair to show roots. And so I went with a nice black color. Just painted the inside of the hair to give it some more texture, a little bit more depth. And I know it's not winter. I'm not posting this in winter, but maybe you're watching it in the winter. But that was the kind of theme I wanted to go to. So I wanted to do blue with hints of white and red. So on her forehead, I added a little bit of red food coloring and just diluted it with magic sauce and blended into the rest of the face. Now I'm using some red jimmies as well as some Snowflake sprinkles that I've had since like two Christmases ago. <laughs> I never ended up using them, so. Which was actually beneficial because I had them ready for this. I concentrated my sprinkles onto the hair flip and just had them sprinkled very lightly onto the rest of the hair. I wanted to save the sprinkles for last, but I ended up saving the eyebrows for last just because I didn't want to do them. I was scared. Now I'm using a little bit of blue and gray and a little bit of silver as well. Uh, luster dust and food coloring to create my Snow Beauty's eyebrows. How did they turn out? I think they turned out pretty well. Now her eyes are closed so that you can see all of the makeup under her eye and her eyelid. And then I use the same blue to create her lips. And voila, my winter beauty cake was complete. Do you like it? She looks like some sort of like an ice princess. Maybe a Christmas ice princess. I love the eye makeup. I love the blue lip. But most importantly, I love that I was able to incorporate sprinkles. Gives you a hint that this is not an art piece, but a cake. It just makes this piece look stunning. Ooh, I love that hair flip. I'm gonna replicate that on another cake because it looks pretty bomb. Now I'm curious, I just basically decided blue and red for this cake. And I want you guys to give me two colors that you think should appear on the next beauty cake. Make sure you let me know in the comments because your ideas could be inspiration for the next cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.